Hey everybody, Steve here with White Knuckle Off-Road Adventures. This is our 2019 Sportsman 850HO Premium. And we just added the SAU TV lights off of Amazon. They're like 280 bucks. There's no instructions that come with them. They do have a video on YouTube on how to install them and how to sort of wire them. They don't really go over too well. Inside your fuse box, sorry, that's what I got my battery plugged into. You go right down to your third one over. It's a 20 amp. Inside of your box, it'll say drive. So, just plug that into there. That wire, you'll run right over to this little red wire that comes with the lights. When you wire that into this red one, you run it underneath your radiator over to here. You're going to wire that into this red one, sorry, right here, off the back of the other light. That is the only wire you have to hook up if you want the drive light option on it. This little brown wire is if you want a turn signal. If you wire this in and you've got a street legal kit, this lower light right here will light up orange. When you turn it on as a turn signal, it's just white with the drive light option that I'm going to wire in. So these lights do come with their harness. They will plug into your factory harness, you'll unplug your headlight, you'll plug the, this into it, and then this little white wire comes, has a little harness on its own, right here, a little plug, sorry, not a harness, but a plug. It goes to both headlights, and it goes right up here in the back to your pod. So you unplug your original bulb out of your pod, plug these in, put your original bulb back in your, your headlight pod, and hook these all up. And I'll show you what the drive light looks like. So you turn your key on. So that's going to be with the drive light on on this side. I don't have this side wired yet, of course. So that's your drive light. You don't have to run this if you don't want to hook this little red wire up. So if you don't plug that red wire in to this white one and run it to your fuse block, you just won't have a drive. You'll still have headlights on your high and low beam. Uh, I wanted the drive light option. And then... Uh, over here we'll show you low beam and then high beam so that'll give you low and high on both sides so there again that little red wire will give you your drive light if you don't want your drive light on you don't have to do it you can just leave that unplugged and you don't have to wire anything in so it is a plug and play it plugs into everything the only thing you do have to splice into and nothing into your any of your factory harness. You just hook into that red wire with the supplied wires they give you. They give you two of these. Little white ones. I just ran that one from there. Over to here, I'm gonna get that hooked into this wire and get it plugged in. Now to take this off, you have to pull your hood. There's two pins right here. Just pull them off. They'll just pop up, take them out. There's some torques here, some bolts here. And you got a couple bolts uh, back here and back here, and a couple more torques. Take your front little cover off. That's just got a little plastic pop-in pin right there. And get all them loose. And when you do that, this will be holding it down a little bit. Just kind of pry up on it, and it'll pop it out. When you get all that loose and take it apart, then all you got to do is come right here. There's a bolt right there. And there is a bolt right underneath here that goes straight up, just straight up into there. And that will loosen up your headlight. Turn that key off. When you get your headlight loose, you're gonna come into the back. You're gonna grab it and you're gonna pull it towards you this way to the outside of the machine. And it'll pull down and out. One other thing you do need to do is take this adjuster screw out, just pull it out and when you, the spring will stay on that part of your machine, that's part of your machine. Just pull that out when you put your headlight in there, you can just put your little adjuster screw back in and kind of figure out how, where you want your headlights aiming or not, up and down is up to you. This is my battery charger cable. For the new machines, they have this up in the pod. On mine, I just wired it to my battery, ran it out here, and I just keep it tucked in there and, until I want to hook it up to the battery charger and stuff. Lights are really nice quality. They feel really good. They look nice. 
Uh, the lens feels good. They're heavy. They kind of feel heavier than the factory ones actually, but they got a cooling system on the back, back here. You can see those little vents. They're made right into the back of the light and uh, they seem to work really well, or yes, they'll work really well. We'll see how they hold up over time, but it feels like a pretty good quality part. You're about 200 and I think they were 270 or 280 bucks versus about 500 for the Polaris lights. So I really like them. I'm glad I changed them and we'll see how they hold up down the road. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. And thanks. Thanks for everybody that's subscribing and stuff lately. It's really awesome. It's helping us do more. So we're going to try to get some more videos out. We have some stuff coming up on this machine that we're going to be doing some new shocks and we're going to put all new bushings in it. I've got one bushing that's giving me a little bit of a trouble. That's it. So thanks again for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Keep riding.